was really shocked when I found out how secrecy is practiced on all political levels at the EU. Uh, when, when we adopted the Charter and the Treaty of Lisbon uh, over 10 years ago now, um, there is the inquiry committee is in there as a right for the European Parliament, where we can start a committee that can inquire something that went wrong in the administration. But the council has been basically blocking the parliament proposal under this change of treaty for ever since. I think it's, it's so shocking that transparency is the fundament of democracy. Only if I know what's going on, I can build my own opinion. That's what you have to keep in mind and and to and control our government. Okay, I allow you government to take out my freedom of movement, but I want to know why. And, you, and we're, seeing, we're seeing this through the whole COVID thing. Suddenly people are really hungry for information. They want to know the data. How's the data collected? What data do you have? I think this is a really good moment um, to ensure that we, we change change the attitude towards the benefits of transparency. So people do not get used to an authoritarian regime, so, or not regime, but authoritarian way of life, that they are aware of their rights and that this awareness also goes beyond just knowing their rights but also practicing them. I think, I mean, fundamental rights is something that you have to fight for every day, uh, you know, and, and I think Corona times in particular show that fundamental rights uh, get under threat in, in many of our member states and I uh, fear also at the level of the union so uh, you have to fight for it and you have to exercise your rights um, use those fundamental rights. So get involved in those national processes in order to get your governments to commit to being more transparent and I think we need to complement our work on EU transparency with pushing greater transparency at the national level as well.